Hey guys, in this video we're going to continue on our Angular 2 front end and I want to start with the home page just to get that looking good. There's not much to do besides add markup. Uh, then we'll move on to probably the register page so we'll create the form and then we'll need to create a service on our Angular app so that we can make our request to our back end and register a user. So let's open up the home component HTML file and we're just going to add some stuff in here. I'm going to paste most of this in okay because it's just HTML. So we have a jumbotron which I'm putting to a class of text center. We have our H1 a paragraph with the class of lead and so you can see that whole thing and then we have a div with two links formatted as buttons so we have the class of button primary and then we're doing our router link to the register and then we just do the same thing for the login okay so we have two buttons and then under that we're just gonna have three different four column divs let me just grab that real quick Okay, so I'll paste that in. We have a class of row, and then we have three call MD4 divs with an H3, and then a paragraph. Okay, and if you want to copy that, there it is. So let's save that. And then if we reload the home page, it should look like that. So now let's close the home up, and let's go to our register component. So we want to go to register and let's see let's go to uh, register component ts and we're going to create a property for each field of the, for the user so above constructor we're going to put in name which is going to have the type of string okay remember angular 2 uses typescript so we can use static typing here username email and password. Okay, so those are the properties. And let's see, we'll save that for now and then let's go into the register HTML and we're going to put in our form. So I'm going to paste in a very basic form. Okay, so we have our H2 with the class of page header, says register, and then a form, and then each field is, is wrapped in the for, uh, form group class. It has a label and then an input. Okay, which are all text except password is a password. So what we want to do is is we want to be able to access uh, the data that's in each of these inputs, and those are going to pertain to these properties. So to do that, we need to add in an ng model, and that needs to be wrapped in brackets and parentheses. Okay, and then we say ng model, and then we're going to set this one to the name property. All right, now. Uh, we also need to have an attribute called name and set that to whatever we set in the ng model. If we don't do that, we're going to get an error. Okay, and we want to do that for all of these. So let's just copy that. And then this one will be the username. And this one will be the email. And password. Okay, so now that we did that, we want to uh, create an event. Whoops, what did I do here? Uh, oh. Okay, so we want an event. So on the form, with events in Angular 2, you want to use um, parentheses. And we just want to say the type of event, which is going to be a submit. And we want to set that to call a function called on register submit. Just like that. So let's save it. And then we're going to go back to the class and create that on register submit. And then just to test it out, we'll do console.log. And we'll just do one, two, three. All right, so let's save that and let's make sure that that's hooked up correctly. So if we go to register and we click submit, let's go down here and you see we get one, two, three. Now to get the 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 data from each field, we can just use this dot name 
and that should give us the name value. So let's try that. So we'll just put something in there and submit, and you can see we can get that because that's linked. These properties are now linked uh, or, or binded or bound, however you say it, to each of these inputs. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to create an object from these fields so that we can get that ready to submit um, into our request. So let's do const user and let's set that to an object with a name and the value of that is going to be this dot name username Actually, let's do name email email username and password okay so that's going to build out that object uh, and then let's do some validation and to do that we're going to need a new service a validation service so let's go over to our app folder our source app folder and we want to create a new folder called services okay and then we're going to whoops I didn't want to do that we're going to navigate to that folder so I'm going to stop the the front end server for a moment and we're going to cd dot dot back into the app folder and then we're going to go into services and then from there we're going to do ng g service validate okay and now you can see it created a validate service.ts file so in order to use that we need to go to our app.module file and we need to actually bring that in ourselves cuz for some reason they don't have they don't have that available for services like they do with components so let's do import um, validate service from and we want to go dot slash services slash validate dot service okay and then we just need to put that in the providers right here okay and that should do it so let's save that close it up and then let's go to our validate service and we're going to create a validate register function okay so let's go under the constructor and let's say validate register and that's going to be passed in that user object and then we want to just make sure that it has all of the fields okay because everything's required so let's say if we'll say if user dot name is equal to undefined or and then I guess we can just copy this okay or user dot email is undefined or username or user password and we don't need this last or okay so if any of those are undefined then we want to return false okay and then let's do an else and we'll do return true so that's our validate register now I also want to be able to validate the email so let's create another one validate email and that'll be passed in an email account or an email address and we want to validate this with a regular expression now I don't have it off the top of my head so if we search for JavaScript validate email and I think it's this one right here right here we're gonna grab this from Stack Overflow okay I'm just gonna change that to const so basically we have our regular expression this long long thing here and that's gonna make sure that it's in the format of an email and then we just want to return uh, 
that regular expression dot test and then pass in the email and it'll it'll return either true or false true if it's a it's a, a good email false if it's not all right and then we'll save that and that's all we have to do here so let's go ahead and close it up now back in our register component we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to import the validate service Okay, so we're going to import that from, and then we need to go out twice, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash, services, slash, validate, dot, service. Okay, and then we need to inject it into the constructor. Anytime we use a service in a component, we need to inject it like this. So we'll say private, uh, validate, service, and then set that to uppercase, validate service so now we can use this dot validate service so let's go down here and we're gonna go ahead and um, let's do required fields so we can say this dot or no we want to do an if so we'll say if not validate service and then we're passing in a user uh, whoops, actually this should be this dot validate service dot validate register. Okay, so if not, that means that um, they're not all filled. So let's test it out by just doing a console log. Please fill in all fields. All right, and then we're going to just return false. All right, and then we're going to do the email one. So we'll grab this. Validate email. So we'll change the function name to validate email. And then here we're going to pass in user.email because that's all we need. We don't need the whole user. And we'll say, please use a valid email. All right, so let's go ahead and save that, and we'll try it out. So if we reload this, whoop, we need to start the server back up. So we're going to go back to Angular Source and run ng serve. Okay, let's clear this down here. Okay, so if we try to submit, you can see down here, please fill in all fields. So if we fill in all fields, but not a valid email, please use a valid email. And if we say test at test.com and submit, you can see we get nothing. That, that means that everything is passed. Okay, so we now have our form validation. And you can use this, this type of service in all your Angular apps. So we probably won't get to the submission, the registration um, in this video. So I, because I, I need a little more time for that. So what we're going to do is implement the flash messages before we go. So let's do Angular to flash messages. Okay. So we're going to want to install it with this right here. Actually, did we already install it? I think I did. Let's look at package.json. Uh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. So we have to run this. Not f make sure that you don't run this from the root. It has to be in the Angular folder. Whoops. So down here, let's stop the server, and we're gonna make sure you're in the Angular source folder, and then we're gonna run that install. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, I didn't do npm. So we want to run this. OK, so that's going to go ahead and install that flash messages module. All right, so now we're going to run ng serve again. And then let's go to our app.module.ts. 
and we're going to have to bring that um, that flash messages module in. So let's go right here and say import flash messages module, and that's going to be from Angular two dash flash messages, and then we have to add that to uh, to our imports right here. So let's go right below the router, and we'll say flash messages module. So let's save that, and then we need to put in just like we did with the router. It needs to have an outlet. So we're going to go to our main app component HTML file and let's put it right above the router outlet. Okay, so we'll just say flash, uh, what is it, flash dash messages. All right, so let's save that and we can close that up. And then we're going to go back to our register component ts file and up at the top we're going to bring that in so let's say import flash messages uh, what is it flash messages service from angular 2 Last messages. Okay, so it, it has its own service. Now, just like with any other service, we need to um, in, uh, inject it into the constructor. So, right here, we're going to put a comma and then let's do private. Let's see, we're going to say, let me just check to make sure what we're putting here. So, private uh, flash messages service. Actually, let's just do flash message. We can call it whatever we want. We just need to set it to this. Okay, so then uh, whenever we want to do a flash message now, we can say this dot flash message. So let's go down here and instead of a console log, we're going to say this dot flash message. And then that's going to take in actually we need to call dot show as well so dot show and that'll take in the message which we want that to be and then some options and we can set a CSS class okay now since this is an error message I'm gonna set it to alert dash danger and we can also set the timeout so the time it takes for it to disappear I'm gonna say 3000 milliseconds so three seconds and then I'm just going to copy that and let's paste that here and we'll just take this message and put it here alright and then we'll get rid of that so hopefully this works let's make sure our server is going okay and then we'll go to our register page and reload and let's try to submit please fill in all fields and it should disappear and then if we put in a bad email address, please use a valid email. Awesome. And again, this is something that you can use in, your, in all your Angular projects. It's really nice. Okay, so in the next video, I promise we'll create our auth service and we'll start to work with the back end.